All right, fam. We are now gonna jigger rig some shallow waters. I see some beds, some of them are on beds. Uh, actually, a good amount uh, this week. So, uh, we're we'll gonna jigger rig some bedding bass, I guess. Anyways, uh, I did do a video earlier doing big swim bait versus small, and it was fun. But I think we're at the point where they're not really chasing anymore. So, what I wanna do is put these guys as close as possible to the beds, and uh, hopefully, we'll trigger some bites fishing closer to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So I got the G crack, bell crawl, and um, yeah, I've seen some beds around here. And also there's a lot that's hard to see, right? There's all these vegetation now. So what I want to do is flip and pitch closer structure, you know, where you think uh, they may be uh, hiding beds, hidden beds, because we have like, like a lot of algae and stuff like that growing. Okay, and they're getting pushed to the edge with the wind. There's also pollen. Pollen's a great structure, by the way. Like, cast into those pollen. Cast into those uh, structure because what happened is the sun gonna beat on those areas and they're gonna uh, get warm quick. Those uh, fries gonna be happy whenever they hatch, right? So definitely wanna hit some of those sunny areas with all those structure. And hopefully you get some nice big bass. Well, at least I hope I will. And that is my tactic for the day. Let's talk about my gears for a second. I'm using one of my favorite rods of all time. This is the Jackson Blast Beat so-called finesse. No longer in production. I think BFE may have one or two left. Y'all want to check it out. It's um, discounted because again, it's uh, no longer in production. It's so sensitive, one piece. I know a lot of bass folks like one piece rods these days, but um, you know, be quite honest, ever since I played around with the uh, bait finesse stuff and they used that, um, a furrow insert thingy majiggy, right? The way that two piece works, it's pretty sensitive. So, you know, I don't really care for one piece. Here we go. Nice one. Yeah, that's a good one. Dude, sometimes you get closer is how you get those fish. Look at that. Battle. Oh, off it goes. It was a good fight though. <laughs> All right, well, dang. There'll be plenty more to go. I'm not too worried. We have a lot of water here. I haven't even fished the back water. That's probably where all the, the fish gonna be at, some of the big fish. Yeah, getting this guy, sink to the bottom, bounce a few times, not there. Reel up, go to the next casting spot, okay, cast the next spot. We're power BFS fishing, okay. I have 0.8 go, Verivis, uh 8. I have 8 pound floral leader material. Hopefully these pickers won't steal my bait. So I fished here earlier and um, no swipe, no nothing from swim baits. So let's try some uh, soft plastic. You know, fishing closer to the edge, fishing closer to the bottom, right? Maybe we get some fish to bite. With all these vegetation here, I think you have to get it close in order to get some of these fish to bite. That's a fish. Yeah, they're in there. They're in there. Those treble hooks, lures, I couldn't get close. This guy is in there. Let's go. A little smaller than the one I dropped earlier, but this is uh, so good for the first uh, Jika rig fish of the day. Let's go, let's go. All right, one last look. What the heck is this? All right, anyways, back in the water you go, behind me towards the spot. I guess I should have paddled backwards <laughs> and put it right back in a gunk, but Oh well, it'll find its way home. Man, that one picked up good. <laughs> That's all in there. It gotta be a fish. 
Give me a fish. That's a fish. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah, another one, another one. Got him out. Woo. All right, go right back behind me. Go back into the tree. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. They're definitely in cover today. Yes. Woo. Look at that. Got a tail. All right. It goes. Here we go. Here we go. In the wood. In the wood. Ah. It's a good one. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, big behemoth. Ah, saw my hand off. Oh yeah. Biggest one of the day with the G-Crack. Let's go. All right. Woo. Off it goes. Oh, jump. Yeah. You know, a lot of my fishing for finesse, right? There's a lot of slack line involved. And braid could transfer a lot of sensitivity, but when it comes to slack line, uh, it loses some of that sensitivity. You gotta have a little bit of tension, right? And that's why I like to have like a extra long leader material when I go power BFS fishing and I fish some slack line because even though when you're fishing slack line, when you have that full carbon leader that's sinking, right? And also with the weight it actually creates a tension for you as your lure sinks down and although you are fishing somewhat of a slack line it becomes more of a partial slack line right it has just a tiny tension and when that entire uh lure get hit and if it gets hit the whole full carbon leader gets pulled a little bit and it flicks your line you may not feel it but you can still see your line go okay and um like right there, oh my gosh, right there, I was like about to talk and I saw my line just jump and I set the hook, but I didn't reel down enough, but that's how I lost that one right there. But this thing is sensitive, like super sensitive rod. I love the so-called finesse rod. I wish they didn't discontinue it. I wish, um, you know, they'll bring it back one day, but I am in the market for another one piece rod, okay, that I could replace this rod with and uh, continue enjoying. I saw that Cashin brought out a new rod, new set of rods, and um, Tactical Bass and left Dobbins for <laughs> Cashin. So yeah, I will probably explore that. Not sure. Let me know in the comments below. Here we go. Dude, 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 dude. What? What? Dang. Backwater bass. Let's go. Let's go. All right, look at that. Got some spots on her, too. All right, right back in here. And I suck. And that was a fish in a nest. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah. Those boaters can't get back here like this. I mean they can, but they're cleaning with their motors nonstop. 
just like me when I clean up my motor, right? But dude, they're here. Get closer, dang it. Power finesse fishing, jigger rig fishing. Those are some of the things I love doing that I have been really doing for some time now, especially for bass fishing. So it's, this is something that you guys like to see Jim would do more often and try other fishing techniques using power finesse. Let me know in the comments below because summer is here. A lot of fish are either in deeper waters or in cover. So I usually like to throw a little bit heavier tackle, but sometimes I still like to throw smaller profile stuff, just like what I was presenting in this video. And I think, uh, you know, this rod right here that's no longer in production is fantastic. But I think I may look into a different rod. I was looking at Cashin because, of course, tactical bassin are with them now and uh, they're raving with their new icon rod, right? So maybe, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. You guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment below. And you guys get those jigger rigs at Bay Finesse Empire. The fish don't wait. Thank you for watching. Until next time, catch you on the other end of the line.